What's up, everyone? It's January 22nd, 2024, and we got some monster snowflakes coming down. Look at these bad boys. It just started snowing. It just started snowing. I already uploaded a video this morning at about, I went out at about 4.45 in the morning, and it was mostly rain, which was just such a bummer. So I've, as soon as, as I got home uploading the other video, I've been just staring out the window, just staring, staring. Then all of a sudden, I saw the snowflake and I knew it was gonna change right then and it did. So that's why we're out here. I got the live feed set up so you guys can go check out the live feed right now and uh, watch the snow accumulate live. That'll be pretty cool. We got the live feed going right here. As a matter of fact, boom, there it is. Boop, there it is. All right, so, gosh, this is beautiful. Hey guys, don't forget, hit like and subscribe for me. Huge, huge help. I hope you feel I've deserved it. It's just a simple half of a second click. And uh, yeah, it would be truly huge for me. So thank you. And also, if you guys want to help support the channel, go to the BigBearWeatherAndMore.com store and get your merch really does help support the channel I love seeing you guys wearing the brand I love going around town seeing folks wearing the stuff it's 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 just such a such a gratifying feeling so thank you thank you thank you and uh, it really does help there's other ways you can help also in the description of the video a couple other options on what you can do to help your boy out so thanks again for everything and last but definitely not least, for all of your snowboard and ski rental needs, and if you want to purchase ski and snowboard equipment and clothing and stuff, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have a couple stores. Definitely the best store up here. Not not just saying that because I'm promoting them. Um, they really are. The owner Frank, super cool. If you bring your own skis and your own snowboard in, they will wax it for free if you mention that I sent you. So yeah. Go take advantage of that, guys. And uh, if you want to save money on your lift tickets, buy it 72 hours in advance on getboards.com. It'll save you money as opposed to going to the ticket window on the day you go skiing. So 72 hours in advance, you'll save a nice chunk of change. All right, let's do this. We're gonna drive up to Sugarloaf and that side of town and then hopefully when we come back the ground will be turning white because this is the beginning of the heavy part of the snow that's going to be coming through so it's going to be beautiful definitely excited and looking forward to it as always and guys don't forget the beginning of february is looking just amazing the possibilities i'm I hope I'm not jinxing it by talking about it so much, but like my long range forecast, it's just nothing but snow, just snow as far as the eye can see. And it's pretty similar timing to last year's major storm that we had. So um, wouldn't that be great if we had a repeat of last year, make up for all the lack of snow we've had this year. We are in my new car, the car that I don't drive too often. You can see temperature's 34 degrees. We're on uh, Division Road right now. Oh, this is just absolutely gorgeous. I, this never gets old, you guys. Especially with these humongous snowflakes. There's snow play right there. Right on the corner of basically Division and Big Bear Boulevard. It's a place for that, that you can pay to go sledding. It's right here next to, to Motel 6. I know it's kind of hard to see through all the water droplets on the window. But yeah, we're going to turn right here on Big Bear Boulevard and head up to Sugarloaf and do a drive to the end.
the end of Sugarloaf. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. And as soon as I get home to upload this video, I'll be responding to all the comments that have come through on the previous video. But yeah, this this is gonna be so, this is oh these are the videos I love uploading right here. I love it. But as I said, it just started snowing. It's been drizzling, pretty much rain since about four in the morning or so, no, about four four twenty or so four thirty because I set my alarm for numerous different times to check outside. I'm very good at catching the very first drops or flakes. But this part of the storm could be, uh, if, it, if it stays together, it, it could be pretty nasty. And the heaviest we've seen all season. And as I've said numerous times, I know that's not saying much, but um, if we could get five to seven inches out of this, I'd be happy. I'm still sticking with my two to three inch mark. I love this car. It is just so comfortable. Most comfortable leather seats. Insanely good suspension. Of course, I have snow tires on here for this time of year also. Snow tires for, for both the cars. And then once the snow season's over, I put back on the normal tires. Or, I shouldn't say me, but I get them put back on. Driving through Big Bear City right now. As I said, we're gonna head up into Sugarloaf. We're gonna take North Shore, heading back. And actually, I think we might drive through Baldwin. Yeah, we'll drive through Baldwin on this one also. So we'll be hitting the furthest point of Big Bear Valley before you start going down the mountain that way into the desert. All right, we're turning right on Maple to head up to Sugarloaf. It's a big screen, huh? I love it. I love it, I love it. I love showing you guys my rear view mirror thing. So there's this little thing I can click Watch this, it turns into a camera back there. How cool is that? Then I undo it and it's back to a regular mirror. Funny enough, that was a big selling feature for me. I was like, no way. 
then right up here there's a button I can push for the front view and then it'll show up on the screen here but you got to be going slower for that to activate it's pretty cool stuff all right we are entering Sugarloaf Shaggy. I get requests a lot to come up here as much as I used to. I used to come up here all the time. Look at all the snow on that guy's car. I'll bet he lives up at the higher elevations in Sugarloaf, right next to the forest. Starting to see some accumulation. The ground starting to turn white up here a little bit on the sides. So that's good. Well, we're going to take this to the, we're going to turn right where this bus is turning and take this to the end of Sugarloaf, right where uh, Sugarloaf meets Moon Ridge. But we're not gonna take Moon Loaf because I don't wanna take my new car. For Moon Loaf, we'll take, take my other car, maybe for the aftermath video, that'd be kinda cool. Temperature is falling. We did climb a little bit in elevation, but it's 33 degrees. So here's the grid, the sugar loaf grid. We're on Barton Road now. I believe the further we go in this direction, the more snow we're gonna come into, at least on the ground. So we're going to turn around here on Inyo, Inyo Base. If we, if we do the turn left here, I'll, I'll show you guys because I'm going to turn around. But <laughs> if we go straight about 200 yards up, you enter Moonloaf. It's an off-road area that connects Moon Ridge and this area, Sugarloaf. But we're not going to do that. All right, windshield wiper, take it easy. I keep on forgetting to put the Rain-X stuff on there, so I I need to do that. You guys keep on telling me to. I bought some. Am I supposed to just put some on a paper towel and rub it on the windshield, or do I mix it with water and then spray the windshield? I know I could probably read the directions, but seriously, I'm like so busy always and just so stressed about everything. Just. If I could get some information without having to do a bunch of research, that would be great. Looking through the camera, it looks like I'm absolutely hauling butt, but look, we're going 29, 30 miles per hour. Speed limit's 35 up here. But remember, you don't have to drive the speed limit in these conditions. Just go as slow and as safe as the conditions allow you to go. 
you'll always notice when there's snow down there, unless it's late night and I'm on one of the main drags down there, you know, I'll, I'll get going, but in pretty much every other situation, I'm definitely doing the best I can to, uh, really make sure that I, I don't have any accidents. Funny enough, the only accident I've ever been in was about a year, almost a year and a half ago. And it was in the summertime. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to my wife on the phone. I wasn't texting, but I was talking to her on the phone. And I don't know what happened, but I looked up and there was a car stopped right in the middle of the road to turn left. There was no oncoming traffic either, so they could have totally gone. I keep on thinking that I noticed that and then just subconsciously expected them to turn, but they just sat there and sat there and sat there. And then when I looked up, they were still there. And that was a very tough situation for me. As I said, my first accident in all my years of driving. All right, we are on Baldwin Lane, or Baldwin Road. Here's a park over here, Sugarloaf Park. They've got a little dog park right there too. Okay, temperature's still 33. I wonder if it's gonna jump back up to 44 once we get down here to the bottom. So when you come up to Sugarloaf, you guys, in snowy and icy conditions, this route is the route I always suggest. Take Baldwin Road up to Sugarloaf instead of Maple. Maple becomes really dangerous. We go highway 38 guys if i turned right we would eventually start heading out of big bear that direction but we're not turning right we're turning left to get to the cross street of big bear boulevard and highway 38 but we're going to turn right when we get to big bear boulevard to head into baldwin lake stuck at 33 good we could get up to like 37 or 38 today so there's there is a chance uh, right when I said that it went back up to 34 dang it but there is a chance that this could all change back to rain and that would be completely devastating for our ski resorts again thankfully there's a, a lot of storms on the horizon a lot and our ski resorts need it because there's there's only a few months left of our ski season up here, guys. All right, this is Big Bear Boulevard that we're coming up to right now, but we're gonna turn right. If you turn right, you end up on Shea Road, S-H-A-Y. If you turn left, you're on Big Bear Boulevard. So we are on Shea Road. And then this will turn into Baldwin Lake Road. Beep, beep, beep yourself. What did I tell you? Beep, beep, beep yourself.
So we are entering the least snowy part of town. Same elevation, you guys, as the rest of Big Bear Valley. Same elevation, but it's the least snowy part of town. And although that's the case, it's still one of my favorite parts of town. Most of Baldwin is like treeless, and it just feels like you're in a desert up here. Obviously not this part, there's a lot of trees right here, but the further out we get, it's, it's a nice change. It's just different out here. And when Baldwin Lake has water in it, it it's pretty good size, you guys. It is pretty good size. Like that whole area out there is a lake when we get good storms. Oh, I, I see my wife on the live feed. That's cool. <coughs> I think she's getting up to, to go to work. My regular job starts at 10, so I got two hours to be messing around. But with my regular job, I do a lot of driving around also. So I, you know, a lot of times I get to kill two birds with one stone. I get to drive for work and record videos at the same time. Pretty awesome. Okay guys, we are truly entering the least snowy part of Big Bear Valley. And the further we drive this way, even uh, all the way until we hit Highway 18, it's just less and less snow when it comes to accumulating. Because just on the other side of those hills straight ahead, you start going down into the really dry desert area. And that dry air really rips these storms apart on this side of Big Bear. Hopefully for the aftermath video, we'll get to do a Big Bear snow rule visual. There's Baldwin. That whole area out there can turn into a lake. And again, it's pretty darn big. See what's going on with the live chat right there. Oh, that's cool. We got 34 people watching. I love seeing you guys talking to each other and having a good time. And that's like, we, we have such a beautiful community, guys. It makes me so happy. watching now. Cool, man. Cool beans.
I'm watching the road, guys. I promise I am. It's just since the camera's right in my eyesight of the windshield, I can see that and see the road. I'm not watching the video, of course, but I can see on the top it tells me how many people, so I don't want you to be worried. You've got to be kidding me. I think we're getting uh, rain mixed in now. There's still some snowflakes, but yeah, we're definitely getting some rain mixed in. Unbelievable. But once we start heading back into Big Bear, like that that other side, it, it will hopefully still, still be snow. I don't like the transition phase of the, of the snow to rain. I really don't. You can see a lake forming out there though. Very, oh, well. I don't wanna roll down my window. My other car, I have no problem doing that. Yeah, wow, I don't see any snowflakes. Huh. And we are in the least snowy part of town, right here. This is it. This is it. And instead of turning right where it says Lucerne Valley here. Oh, I wish I would have beat all this traffic, but that's okay. We gotta wait, wait for these guys. They seem to be hauling some serious butt though. There's still snowflakes mixed in, don't get me wrong. But it's not, uh, I was, I'm, I'm not liking seeing this rain. And it looks like we're getting more snowflakes again. Jeez, it's, it's so cool how we live on that snow line so often. So yeah, now, now there's more snowflakes that are remixing back in. Five degrees and more and more snowflakes Wow it's coming down Now it's all snow again. Really wet snow, but now it's all snow again. That is just so cool, you guys. I, I mean, seriously. It just changed to like 90% plus rain for, for a minute over there. <coughs> now it's back to all snow. Gotta get the windshield wipers going a little more, guys. Again, over there, is, that's all Baldwin Lake whole area. <laughs> Seriously, this is just so cool. 34 degrees again. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. I'll be home shortly to talk to you guys for a while. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Obviously it's gonna be hard to see out there, so we're just gonna stay focused forward here. Cruising down the street in my outback. Yeah, it's snowing pretty good right now. Massive snowflakes again.
I'm anxious to get back to respond to all these comments. Wow, it's really, really snowing. And I am really, really hungry. So, the snow should pick up as we get going further this direction. So, if it's snowing this good over here on this side, it should be really snowing good at my house. like the ground in front of my house is already starting to turn white so that's good that's good I like to see that I'll turn up my defroster a bit I can hear my my windshield wipers getting icy so please bear with me with this really loud Hurricane Force Defroster. Oh yeah, it's starting to turn white over here like crazy. Look at how fast that happened, guys. Yes, baby, yes. yourself with your wiper please. Take it easy buddy. This is that accumulating snow, folks. Love to see it. Temperature drop back down to 33 degrees. I really hope it sticks and hovers around this temperature for the day, but it's, it's inevitably gonna get warmer. 
I just hope and pray for our ski resorts, guys, and all of our business owners up here, that we can maintain this. And it's gonna be like this for the next few hours. Stanfield cut off. you guys yes thank you mother nature thank you for hooking up your boy guys we're gonna go ahead and get this video uploaded as you know i will be going back out if you like what i do hit like and subscribe help me out i put myself in these situations when most people wouldn't dare drive in these conditions unless they absolutely have to so i do this for you guys so you guys can see with your own eyes what it looks like and i hopefully i can relay to you the feel of this weather and the roads i haven't slipped at all but then again, I've got all-wheel drive and snow tires. Seriously, that is so cool. All right, guys. Until next time, I will see you guys shortly, okay? And uh, thanks for being with me. Thank you for being with me. Talk to you later. Peace out, January 22nd, 2024.